Okay, well welcome back to the series on flying IFR and X-Plane using Pilot ATC. We're sitting here at Landmark Aviation Parking Spot number 16 at Raleigh-Durham International Airport. In the background you see the FBO and this will be our spot that we're departing from. And before we get started, let me start up World Traffic 3. So we'll have some traffic. I'll enter KFAY as the arrival airport, so we'll have traffic both at the departure and the arrival. And this process takes about 45 seconds to a full minute, so I'll, I'll move ahead a little bit. And as you can see, we have 2,677 flights. Airplane weight and balance. We'll set our weight and balance. Our fuel levels are probably about right. I'll put 245 pounds here to account for the pilot. And then the next thing we want to do is set our weather. And we want to uh, match real world weather conditions. I'll refresh it. So we're looking at about 190 degrees at 7 knots. And uh, we'll set our local time to be uh, 6.30. Which is about when we normally get out to the airport after work. So we have our weather and our time now set. Now working through our pre-flight checklist. We have our parking brake set, ignition switch off, fuel selector to both. And we'll turn on our master switch. Our fuel quantities look good. Static pressure alternate source valve off. Check the enunciator panel switch test. do our flaps range test. Our pedo heat, turn that on. Check for amps. A little flicker with the amps. Turn that off to see that's working. turn on all of our external lights off outside and check and make sure all of our lights are on looks like everything is working landing lights looking good Side lights back off. Master switch off. Fuel valve shut off valve is in. Circuit breakers are good. Throttle open quarter inch. Crack the throttle. Mixture pull out. Turn our master switch on, beacon light on, fuel pump switch on, mixture full rich. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Fuel pump switch off. Announce our startup. Clear. Avionics master switch on. All radios are on.
Now we'll tune our radio to 123.8. Listen to ATIS. Raleigh Durham INTL Information Golf. 2200 Zulu weather. Wind 160 at 7, visibility more than 10. Sky conditions 11,000 scattered, 25,000 broken, temperature 19, dew point minus 1. Altimeter 3032. Arriving runways 23 right, 23 left, 1 4. Departing runways 23 right, 23 left, 1 4. Advise on initial contact you have golf. So now we'll bring up pilot ATC and set the altimeter. other info button will tell us what our destination ways are and K -F -A -Y. So we see that pilot ATC is reporting that uh, Raleigh is 23 left and 23 right which agrees with ATIS and Fayetteville is reporting runway 04 and 10. The last little housekeeping chore is to bring up the uh, runways at uh, RDU and set our parking spot to the Landmark Aviation 16 in the event that we may have to return. So now we're ready to enter our flight plan and I figured I'd just do it by hand since there's not very many waypoints. But we'll select the waypoint button and enter our departure airport which is KRDU. Next we'll enter our destination airport which is KMAY. Next, we'd already determined that we needed a SID, so we know we're runway 23, and we find the departure hooks 2, and then transition will be hooks. And we'll look over on our map here and make sure that this route looks good. You see the green arrow, which is the top of the descent point. Finally, the approach. 04, RNAV runway 04, and the transition Zaji to get the full approach. So let's bring up our charts and take a look at the Hooks 3 departure and we just want to verify that our waypoints look reasonable. Then we'll look at our RNAV runway 4 approach plate and see if uh, all the waypoints there uh, match up with what we're looking at in pilot ATC. And being satisfied with all that, everything looks good, we'll click the load button to load the approach. So now that we have everything loaded, let's look at our map and see if all of these waypoints look like they should pairing up against the charts. Red areas, of course, are our missed approach. Let's make sure all that looks good. Looks like we're good to go. We'll now validate our flight plan. See no errors. Click File to file the flight plan. Now we're ready to contact clearance delivery so we can look over at our airport chart and find clearance delivery on one, two, zero, point one. And we'll enter that frequency into our COM1 radio. Took a 
prepare for the clearance, we'll write the letters C-R-A-F-T vertically on our notepad and make the call. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha ready to copy IFR clearance. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha is clear to Kilo Foxtrot Alpha Yankee. Fly the hooks to departure with the hooks transition, then as filed. Expect departure runway 23 right. Climb to 4,000 feet via the departure. Expect higher clearances two minutes after departure. Departure on 125.3 Squawk 4650. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha is cleared to Kilo Foxtrot Alpha Yankee. Fly the hooks to departure with hooks transition, then is filed. Climb to 4,000 feet via the departure. Expect higher clearances two minutes after departure. Departure on 125.3, squawk 4640. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha. We are back incorrect. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha Squawk 4650. Squawk 4650. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha, we are back correct. Altimeter 3032 contact ground on 121.7 when ready to taxi. Enjoy your evening. Ground on 121.7. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha. Good day. 820, TDC 121, Gulf. Air Canada 404, Toronto Clearance, TDC correct, data is Foxtrot, contact tape, and 12227. Thank you. So now we enter 4650 in our transponder and hit the altitude button. We're finished with the clearance, so we'll get the before takeoff checklist ready, pull up the airport diagram prepared to copy taxi instructions from ground. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha is ready to taxi. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha, this is Raleigh clearance delivery on 120.1, please repeat your request. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha is ready to taxi. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha taxi to runway 23 right via taxiways Juliet 2, Juliet, Foxtrot, Bravo 7, Bravo, Bravo 9, hold short runway 23 right. Taxi to runway 23 right via taxiways Juliet 2, Juliet, Foxtrot, Bravo 7, Bravo, Bravo 9. -er. Full short runway 23 right, Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha taxi to runway 23 right via taxiways Juliet 2, Juliet, Foxtrot, Bravo 7, Bravo, Bravo 9, hold short runway 23 right. Taxi to runway 23 right via taxiways Juliet 2, Juliet, Foxtrot, Bravo 7, Bravo, Bravo 9, hold short runway 23 right, Bel Air 7, Whiskey Alpha. So our parking spot is in that big general aviation ramp area there near the center. So we'll be turning left out of Juliet 2 and heading down Juliet and around the edge there all the way up to that uh, right hand corner there which is 23 right and that's uh, Bravo and we'll be entering uh, Bravo Niner right there at the edge of the runway
2 cross runway 4 at Charlie, monitor on the side. Cross uh, uh, 4 at Charlie and monitor tower on the other side, 1602. So I'm going to try to accomplish as much of this before takeoff checklist as I can while we're driving so I don't sit at the ramp too long. And uh, I think I can get everything done except checking the mags. Wait a minute, this doesn't look right. Okay, well this is why you do checklists. In my uh, haste to try to shorten the video, I forgot to transfer the flight plan from pilot to ATC to the Garmin radios. Well, I should be able to do that while we're taxiing. I'll do that now. This is an older flight plan that I had used before, so I need to delete that. This one that's highlighted here is the one that just got saved when I did my clearance. So we'll load that one. And I always like to have a backup uh, of this flight plan on the other Garmin. So let's move our flight plan over to it. And I always thought this was an odd frame. Cross fill means transfer. Okay, that works. So we can verify that the Flight plan looks Amber Care 6146, we're uh, affirmative on the uh, 33 and we're ready to say. Amber Care 6146, runway 33, taxi via Juliet Foxtrot, hold short of runway 1. Juliet Foxtrot, hold short of 1, Amber Care 6146. So now I'll finish up the checklist. set up the way I like them. And that 430, I always like to have that in a plan view so that I can see a little bit more of the route. Other than that, about the only thing I ever use the 430 for is to listen to ATIS at the destination so that I don't have to change my main frequency. Now that that drama is over with, we'll move ahead in the video. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha Contact Tower on 119.3. Have a good evening. Tower on 119.3. Bel Air 7 Whiskey Alpha. Good day. So the only item left on the checklist is to check the mag, so we'll take care of that before we contact tower, and then we'll be ready for takeoff. Tower lap 514, outside CG for uh, 27. Tower traffic will be holding position, Boeing 737-12507, right 27, clear to land. Okay. We'll cover the takeoff in part three. Thanks for watching.